Hello everybody, it's your boy Roy, and I'm here again to help you improve this time, not your skill, your FPS, and your latency. I'm here to help you make your game feel as smooth as possible and maximize your FPS. Let's get started. A couple things you need to know if you want to check your latency in game, you can go to video, you can go to stats, you can come down here, turn on CPU render time to text only, render latency to text only as well, and then you'll be able to see your numbers at the top left of the screen up here. And yeah let's get started so let's come let's do like a comparison of before and after uh while we're in the game right now also if you have downloaded the latest uh nvidia drivers and you have over a 1080 or not even 1080 over a 1070 uh i would recommend on plus boost on nvidia reflex otherwise if you have kind of a 1060 maybe like a 970 or 980 you want to try at least on if you don't see this option it's probably either one you don't have a video card compatible for it or two you have not updated your latest drivers so go ahead and do that before we get started now let's move on to the next things here on our list first things first you want to find your valorant shortcut wherever it might be right click properties go to compatibility find disable full screen optimizations click that make sure this is checked like this then click on change high DPI scaling behavior and do override high DPI scaling behavior and then make sure that is on application. Hit OK. Boom. Done. Next thing. We're going to do NVIDIA control panel and make sure everything is on the most optimal settings. So you want to do manage 3D settings. Uh, pretty much find power management mode. Make sure it's on perform, pre prefer maximum performance. And then scroll down to uh quality make sure that's also on high performance if you guys want i can just show you my nvidia and you can just copy it if it's easier for you guys that way here you go easy next thing look for game mode Type in game mode in your windows. Now, this setting here used to be really bad at one point, but actually uh, Microsoft sent out a patch. I don't know, remember how long ago exactly, but they actually made performance mode completely different than what it was before. You can learn more about it if you want. I've noticed that it kinda helped to have it on as well. So you can, you can experiment it yourself, but for me personally, it helped me to have it on. Make sure to turn that one on. Next thing you wanna do is search device manager in your windows and then scroll down to system devices and then find high precision event timer. If you don't know what that is, I'd recommend doing your own research. Uh, for most people, you probably will never need this. Uh, you can disable it and you will have a serious FPS and performance increase by just ch this change alone. Just disable it. Mine's already disabled, so I can't disable it. Uh, if you're having some like unforeseen problems or having some sort of, I don't know, maybe, I think every person I've helped has not had any problems with having this off. But if you if you start getting random errors or if things aren't working as they're supposed to, uh, just I guess you could just turn this one back on. But for most people, this helped them a lot. Now I've included this Google Drive link down below in the description. Make sure to look for that. It will give you this page right here, and this Google Drive has four files that you'll see as well as two folders okay so these files right here are registry edits so when you you just download these and you run them as normal you literally just double click them run run all of these all four of these things if you want to revert or if you're having any problems with any of these things which you shouldn't because this these two are to disable dvr this one is full screen optimizations and this one is for the game if you have any problems with any of these you can just revert in here they're labeled for you exactly as they are so you can just revert as you wish and you also see there's an empty standby list file in here right now that will be used later on in the video. So just make sure to download everything in this folder to get started in this video. And yeah, so as soon as you download these, run these, hit OK, run this, run this, run this, run this one. And then you're done for this part. Next thing you want to do is download a program called Process Lasso. This will make your life so much easier. It's on bitsum.com. Just go there, hit download. And then once you have this program download, it should look like this. 
in here, you want to do two, oh, three things actually. So the first one is you want to go to options. You want to go down to power. You want to go down to performance mode, select power plan to use. You should be able to see bit some highest performance. You definitely want this one on. It's definitely the most optimal for gaming in general. So make sure to have that one on. Uh, the next thing you want to do is open your game. Make sure your Valorant game is open. You scroll down to Valorant's Win64 shipping. Make sure it's not the other one. Make sure it's the Win64 shipping one. You right click this. You go to CPU affinity. You go down to always. You turn off CPU zero. Make sure everything else is checked off. I think I would only recommend this for people that have more than six cores or six or above. I think it might be okay for people with four cores. Just experiment. You'll notice if there's any difference. So the reason why you want to have CPU zero off is because Windows and all the background processes run on CPU zero. So just, just separating the game from the Windows itself will yield you a serious amount of increase in performance as well as uh, an increase in reduction in latency. So next thing you do is you go down to same thing. You go down to win 64, you right click, you go to priority class, you go down to always, and you have this on high and make sure process lasso is running in the background. Every time you start your computer, it requires almost little process power. So it's okay if it's on, but it'll help you a ton and will make your life easier. So that you don't have to do this in a much harder way. Boom, easy as pie. So one thing you'll learn is Windows 10 is terrible at clearing cache. It likes to hold cache to make programs open quicker. And realistically speaking, it's holding way too much cache. Now, if you want to see how much of your cache is being held hostage by Windows 10, you can just go to Task Manager, Control Shift Escape, go to Memory, and you can see how much of your cache memory is being held by Windows. For me personally, before I had the cache clearing algorithm in here and the, and the schedule, uh, it wouldn't be an uncommon thing for your windows to be holding up to 20 gigs of my cache more than half of my memory even back when i had 16 gigs windows would hold nine gigs of of cache memory which leaves a little less for the game to work with which can cause stutter problems fps drops a lot of different issues that you might experience so by clearing your cache by creating a task clearing schedule it'll help you so so much so the first things first in this folder you'll see an empty standby list file make sure to download that then you go to c program files x86 and create a folder in here called empty standby list okay and then paste the file in here and then you're done for this part then search in the search bar for task scheduler okay not manager task scheduler and then you want to do create task okay so in the create task part you want to create a task so in here you want to go down to create task, hit this general. You want to do run with the highest privileges. And you want to do change user or group, go to advanced, click find now, scroll down and find system. Hit OK, hit OK. And of course, make sure it's hidden over here as well. So run, run with highest privileges and hidden as well. Make sure to have those on there. Next thing you want to do is go to triggers. You want to create new as well. You want it one time on a schedule and then repeat task every 10, every five to 15 minutes. It's up to you. I have mine set to 10 minutes. I know some people who do five. I know some people who do 15. It's up to you. I, per, I recommend 10 personally. It's not that often, but it works equally as well. And you make sure to have duration of indefinitely so that it continues and it never stops repeating this task. And then of course hit enable and then you hit okay. Then you go to actions, you hit new, start a program, look for the script, find where you posted your empty standby list inside of your program files, hit okay on that one. And then you wanna hit okay over here. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do this personally. And then once you're done the task, it should look like this right here in your windows i'll call it cache clearing by the way so it should look like this it should be like this system run with highest privileges hidden triggers on repeat every 10 minutes and then actions would be start the program and that's it that's all you got to do and you just hit okay and you can see your cache get cleared and you'll notice a, a really big difference in performance overall in your windows you can see you can see that my cache clear, my cache is cleared right now as well and this will help you so so much and it will increase your performance a lot if for any reason you change your mind you're like nah strong legs i don't trust you i don't want to do this okay 
it's really easy you can just come here and you can just either delete it if you want or you can go to properties go to to triggers and then hit this just uncheck enable and it'll turn it off for you easy as pie boom we're done this is the fastest optimization video there is on the internet right now i hope you i hope you've enjoyed it make sure to compare your results from before and after and i hope you notice a difference and i hope your fps has increased if you have any questions please ask Besides that, though, I've included uh, several ways for you guys to revert everything that we've talked about. And I hope you have awesome gaming experience.